Hello, this is a video on Spread64, which is short for Sprite Editor. It's a Sprite Editor for the Commodore 64. It creates byte um, chunks to do with the Sprite data, as well as colour inf information and a whole lot of other extra info that's really just used by this application. So what you've got here is the Sprite Bank area of 64 sprites. Um, there's also the sprite editing panel here and the compositor down here. So what you do is you just left click to select any of these blocks. You can also right click to uh, unselect and it will give you a preview of whatever you're over. So I'll go ahead and make a little kind of square here. Okay, so if I right click, you see when I come over that tile it shows up and I'm just going to click it to activate the editing. So as you know in Commodore uh, graphics there is bit pairing. So if I press space bar it's going to switch between the high res and the multi colour and it's like bit paired so if it uses one side it chooses one colour, chooses if it draws the other side it chooses the second and both does the third. But you don't have to worry about that, it's all done for you. So you can choose your main colours here. Of course the, the first two are global. If you change those they change on all the sprites. Uh, you can right click to um, delete any blocks and left clicking just draws. So you can change the main colour by choosing it and then changing the colour here. You can change the background by right clicking. Okay so that's you got your first sprite made and you want to maybe composite it with another. But I'm going to move it down a bit so to move it down and now there is information here about what does what. So number pad 4862 to shift or crop. So I'll just press the number pad 2 key and go down a bit. I'm going to throw this into the compositor there, so whatever you've got selected you can put it in the compositor and that's that done. Now I want to create a kind of outline high resolution sprite, so I'm going to choose this one, press spacebar to switch it to high res and I'm just going to do a little drawing here, I've no idea how that's going to match this but all I have to do is press up or down to go upper layer and then click and that's going to composite this sprite over the top of this one. Now I'm just going to right click to delete what I did. And now I can actually make that better. So I'm going to kind of round this off a bit. same kind of thing. And maybe some little eyes. I don't really need the mouth done and the multicolour so I'll just go back to that one and just paint it uh, I'll just paint it white like that and there we go we've got like a two sprite layout now there's oh, we just missed a bit there's the ability to add up to five layers so you can totally do loads of multicolour with this um, which is really cool if you want to make it look kind of more modern so I want to add some orange to this so I'm going to create another sprite. Oh, they're already created. I'm just going to select on the next sprite bank and go up a layer again. And you see when you hover over any tile here, it will give you a preview of the layer and the sprite ID. So we'll 
layer zero, sprite ID zero, and so on. So whatever you're hovering over. Okay, so I'll go up one more layer and I'm gonna click. So it's telling me I'm in layer two, sprite ID two. And I can go ahead and, you know, I can either work in multicolor or I would work in high resolution here so I can get the extra detail from that. And I just wanna add a little bit of, kind of shading here. The bottom corners to start with. Uh, maybe just a little kind of design like that. And I can always come back to this one and draw in my next, an extra pixel or so. Uh, but what I want to do is actually add a little grey one just here and then just delete that away so I get it shown there. And there's my little clown face. I'm going to make a little dark patch for the nose. Maybe the two little nostrils points there. And I can also do a little bit of anti-lacing for the mouth. Uh, and I can also go back to the multicolor and help that a bit if I can see it. Is that here? Yeah, that doesn't really help it too much. So. But it's cool that I can just work in here. I'm going to add a little bit of that there to help that bit. Uh, so it makes it kind of look more rounded. And maybe I can add some little ears. And go back to this one and draw in that part. Now, what if I want to animate this? Well, yeah, I can also animate. Let me just take those away. So I can also animate this. I'll make, make them blink. So I need a copy of everything that I need, which is really just this one. So I'll just do Control C, Control V, and then I'm going to uh, change to a different composite layout, a different frame. So I'll just press the right arrow key, and that now switches to uh, frame one. So frame zero, frame one. And I'm going to use this one as the base. So I'm going to go back down to the base layer, put that there, upper layer. I'm going to switch to that one, upper layer, and then use that same one there. Okay, so I've got my three layers and two frames. I've not changed anything in this, but I have added this one instead, and I just want to make them blink. So now I've got them kind of blinking. Maybe I don't want these to be this color. I want them to be orange. Uh, so I would need to then copy this one. And instead of, so that's zero, one, two, that's number two and layer two, so that is this one. So I'll just right click to remove it and then left click whichever one I've got selected. And I just wanna make those orange. I mean, that is a bit of an overhead, right? Just to switch to that one, but that's the kind of thing that you can do. So I can make them blink like that. There might be a better way to optimize that in your mind, but do that um, and so on. I can carry on making up a full image um, of different layers. Now bear in mind the Commodore 64 only likes eight sprites on screen at any one time if uh, unless you're using some kind of interrupt that you know it draws down the screen, it draws its eight sprites and then kind of like jumps back to the next frame and draws the rest and it kind of it's called multiplex and it basically allows you to do more but there's a lot of little kind of quirks with that that you have to think about but you can build up a nice looking little sprite quite easily uh, using this tool. Uh, so I'm just going to lay both sprites down side by side. In fact, let's actually do the opposite just so you can see the process. So I'm going back down to layer one using the down arrow key. Use that one up a layer. I'm going to bring in the open eyes and then up one more layer and bring in that one. Right, I'm just going to do the opposite there. So back down to layer zero, up a layer, I'm going to use that one, and up a layer, I use this one. Okay, so now I've got both of them doing the same. Now you can also set up the animation range, so it tells you down here, uh, sorry, over here, tells you to, you can change the 
where does it say actually? Um, okay, page up, page down, enter, shift to type in, alt to reduce. It takes a while to get used to, but that's the animation ranges. Basically, the page up will bring the start frame up, and page down will bring the the end frame up. If you hold down alt and do that, it will change the change them to go down the way. And you press enter, it starts the animation speed. And then you just get this little kind of blink between those. And that's that's the basis of it. Uh, it will spit out data of these when you save. So control S will save. And it'll just call this um clown face. I'm just gonna show you what that file looks like. So I've got a clown face here. So this is the file. It gives you your byte values per sprite, the color used, the unique color used that is in that that sprite, um, whether it's used in high resolution or multicolor mode, um, the sprite ID, the global colors and the background colors. So these are the pens related to the Commodore 64's 16 colors, range 0 to 15. And these are the pen IDs. So this is all your line bytes. You've got 21 lines to do your basically your your um sorry 63 sets. So there's 21 sets of three. That would be your first line. That would be your second line, third line, and so on. And that's the data that it created there for those sprites. Um, if you scroll right down, which I, I have commented this out. If you're installing this somewhere, um, it's got all this information here. These are the identifiers for the compositor and some offset characters, and it all seems to work quite nicely. So, if you do want to offset something, let me just show you that. So, if I go here, oops, now I just press something by accident. So, I'm just going to press enter until it stops the animation. And let's see, I changed something up there. I think it was this one. Right, so I've got my two frames. And let's say I want to offset just this little compositor section. This is only for the compositing side. If I hold down um, the control and arrow key, I can shift whatever one I'm on. I'm going to use the mouse wheel to go down the next layer. And up. Uh, so that's me now got a little shifting of these sprites. So if I press enter, I can play the animation. I can see I can make that go up and down. So that's just uh, an offset function, just to offset the the sprites in the compositor side. It's nothing to do with the, the pixels themselves. So to shift the pixels themselves, you can actually use the arrow, uh, the uh, different set of keys. It tells you here it has the number pad keys. So I can shift this down or up. You can see that affects all the sprites and these are just affected uh, in a simpler way. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, have a go at everything, try everything out. Uh, there's nothing much else here. Oh, you can also flip the sprites actually. So if I go here and do a little pattern like that and then I press X, it's gonna flip horizontally and it works for both the single color mode and the high res uh, the multi color mode um, it's a little kind of quirk in the programming that has to flip all the bit pairs uh, does it all nicely for you uh, if you are going to shift things around with the number keys then just bear in mind it will clip away that data as well doesn't remember it and there's no wrap mode added just yet, but I'll think about that. But I really enjoy using this tool now. Uh, it's only been a few days in development uh, to fast track some some production work. But I hope you enjoy using it, and please donate to help fund updates on this. Thanks for watching. Bye.